Okay, so like the first question is like uh, for the, was it the, the second, the third paper from the Indonesian colleague. Uh, wh why do you think like actually like a, like areas with MPAs have like a lower gene? Do you have any explanation? Maybe that's correlated with lower uh, income levels or like the nature of communities around the areas that are like more, more like fishermen or, or, or the like? And the question for like the, my Mexican colleague is like, a, how how do you think is like this relationship with the waste treatment related with the way in, in which states understand the well-being of their citizens and their demands? You know, like being waste treatment something that is, is usually referred as like a middle class or middle upper class concern. And if that is, has something to do with like the graphs that you showed, that were really interesting. Thank you. No. <laughs> Something of the presentation of of, of, of Jairo, when you, when you were showing those graphs of decri declining Gini, you you added all the different policies in the simulations at the same time, or just one at a time? Okay. Well, that's fine. So I was also wondering about, uh, is there some way of, of you taking your joint impacts that you showed us so nicely and actually doing some sort of cost effectiveness evaluation or something of the individual programs? That would be uh, very useful. If, you, if government said, okay, but we can't do all of this stuff, what do you want us to do? You know. Uh, uh, okay, well, wonderful. Um, uh, uh, the, then on the uh, just one on the marine protected areas. So it's common pro it's common property resources, right? Which is astonishing. Uh, what an, anyway, you've done an amazing job. Um, but uh, w so so when you talk about the, I presume the 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 some communities within that boundary then effectively run the area in a common property way. But you, one has to keep out other people. Certainly in South Africa, there's been an invasion into common property areas by big fishing, for example. Um, and so I was just wondering whether you could say a bit more about that, uh, exactly how that's going to work to make sure that the benefits go to the right uh, people. And I was just thinking that the spatial aspects of the diagnostic might be really, really useful to this particular exercise. Well, <laughs> I, I start, and yeah, probably there is a high relationship between where are located these waste management centers because people are more involved or more interested, or probably they have the information, so we need probably to explore more a bit because it's probably this are located. We, we took the data from the National Statistic uh, Office, and yes, it requires probably this uh, a deepest no, it's a relationship what we we try to approach with other variables of uh, pollution or things like that but it was not very clear what was happening we need to, to take not only this one but other variables that and um, that to take account of this and we are uh, we wait to generate information for next year we hope we we have the possibility we are going to have a survey next year so we are trying to with to push this agenda within the center, within the researchers, hope this work and to have this more specific, you know, to know that it's not only for higher, uh, the highest um, strata, you know, areas where they are interested in this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we did some uh, discussion with uh, the stakeholders from people who are not only people, but also institutions in, uh, who are located in the MBAs. Uh, some programs, that the government uh, set uh, in the MBA areas is more like a, uh, empower people in that area. For example, like they create new jobs, green jobs, uh, which also empower women. Uh, usually, fisher f uh, people in the, in that area are also only fishermen. But now, 
uh, the wives, the 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 the, the female, the the, the women in the, in that area can also uh, get into the job market then, and at, uh, as the result, um, the income would increase and the inequality would reduce. Uh, the common uh, we don't really uh, um, find uh, evidence that the government limit the use of the common common property area. Uh, what we found is more like a uh, like like empowerment of people who are who live in, in who live in, in in that area not 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 really like you cannot you cannot fish more than uh, this amount of of fish for example uh, we didn't really we didn't really find um, a case for that but more like uh, they empower people they provide more health care they provide um, um, infrastructure for those people who who live in in, in that area so that's that's a program that the government had uh, at the time at the uh, uh, currently that we have uh, information about it I hope that answer your questions uh, um, yes uh, we did uh, each simulations uh, to see its impact, uh, but I presented uh, all the simulations uh, at the same time. Uh, but we don't have uh, enough time to, <laughs> to present. Um, uh, yes, uh, we did a cost-benefit analysis um, of each policy uh, using the Kakwani index. Uh, and we have uh, all the results in the paper. Uh, maybe the universal pensions. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best. Yes. Because the older are the, the most. Uh, Poverty index in Colombia. Yeah. Uh, yes. The, the only added tax is regressive in, in Colombia. so much. I have to say we were also surprised by the, the pension result because it's not usually what we see in other countries. We actually see it as uh, increasing inequality and being very expensive, um, especially because well, it only benefits the formal sector, so uh, the way it, it is built now. So here, I guess, making it universal, it does then have this inequality reducing effect that we see in many other countries. So, yeah. if there are no other questions, then we can end the session two minutes earlier and we have two extra minutes for coffee and thank you so much again.